Hey, love to eat New Orleans, so definitely here. While touring the world with the Modern Ring Walls, we get to eat some fantastic Asian food. But I love coming back home to one of my favorite spots down the street. It's called Mofo. And if the chef has the chili crowd, what you can't forget, it's amazing. <laughs> Hey Candace, great to see you. Welcome, Thank welcome you. to MoFo. Thank you for having of me. Of course. Where are we? We're in a strip mall. This place sat empty forever after Katrina, and so we I grew up right across the street. The whole idea we came here is because this was where all of the industry people lived. This is where cooks lived, this is where all the servers, the bartenders lived, the servers lived. Yeah, I still I live. I love that you're mentioning the neighborhood. This yeah. is mid-city. You're right in the heart of our New Orleans neighborhood. It's my favorite neighborhood. The cool thing about here is that it is 100% a neighborhood restaurant. So we get everyone from Mid-City, we get everyone from Lakeview, we get everyone from Old Metairie Road, and, and they're just, they're regulars. We have people that eat here three times a week. It's been successful. It has been. And I wanted to talk about, it's not fusion. You know, we watch Top Chef and Master right. Chef, and you have fusion this and fusion that, and you wanted to kind of pull it, away from that. It's not so much fusion as it is finding parallels. New Orleans was a French colony, Vietnam was a French colony. Uh, they're both on river deltas, they're both brackish water seafood, they're uh, beautiful crustaceans, love for whole hog butchery, love for baguettes and bread baking. When you start looking at the parallels as opposed to just sort of, you know, large hedron colliders smashing cuisines together, that gets dangerous, but if you find avenues and pathways where they can merge, then you come up with something that is still authentic. So how Southeast Asia meets Southeast Louisiana? 100%. Me cool. Mekong meets Mississippi. We keep it authentic. You know, we still make the sauces from scratch, we still make the curries in a mortar and pestle, we still make our roux by hand. You know, all those things are still there. This is all about Louisiana seafood. Right. What are you going to be preparing for us today? Right now we're getting some really beautiful number one blue crabs. And so we're, uh, I just got back from doing a little study trip in Southeast Asia. I was in Singapore. They had this amazing dish called the chili crab and it's this giant dish and it's like a big to-do. So I got back home and I'm like, well, wait a second, we have beautiful blue crabs here. Why not do a play on that dish? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's I'm always ready. Kitchen. Awesome. We have live blue crab. Big beautiful crabs. Those are stunning. So this is Louisiana blue crab, oh, correct? Oh, only. That's the greatest thing here is we can just mound crab meat onto dishes. You can't do that anywhere in the world. But we can do it because our waters are perfect for these crabs. The hard part is that a fresh crab has to be cut up alive for this dish. So I'm gonna start, and then you're gonna help me finish. We're gonna come in here, we gotta clean them off. I'm really sorry, buddy. I'm really sorry about this. Oh, you're gonna get me. And we gotta come in right into here. You know, we try to teach our staff to really respect it because the crab, you know, it's not fun for the crab, but at the same time, you get a really delicious dish out of it. And it's super fresh. Okay, so you gotta come in. And we gotta take out the dead man's fingers. We gotta take out his uh, his lungs there. Okay, so they're called he's dead good man's and de fingers. That's what I always called him as a kid at crab it's boils. Pretty much like traps, right? Yep, it's no good. You don't wanna eat that. I'm gonna brush this out of the way so it doesn't. You can just chop my fingers off. That's cool too. <laughs> so now you just have to hack him right in half. And you, know, you, really, you can just push down real hard with the top of your hand. There you go. So now we marinate him with a little bit of uh, fish sauce. And the important part is we have all this juice. That juice is the most important part because that's the flavoring. That's what tastes like our beautiful water here. A little chili, a little bit of lemon. So speaking about Asian and Asian seasoning, it's all about a balance of flavors, correct? Hot, sour, salty, sweet. Really, we do the same thing in New Orleans cuisine. We always have chilies, we always have our aromatics, we always have a, a little bit of a hot sauce at the end for that acidity or a little bit of lemon juice. We really cook the same way. All right, we gotta go over here, our crabs. This is our little aromatic blend. It's lemongrass, ginger, uh, garlic, and shallot. Some of our peppers. Uh, these are fermented black beans. I use these, they have a flavor reminiscent of gumbo. So now, a little bit of cilantro. I use cilantro like parsley. So now we got some color on our crabs. They're looking really good. They look amazing. We're gonna go in there with some of our chili crab sauce, which really is very similar to uh, like I was saying earlier, sauce pickle. And we just kind of got to let it simmer for a second. Sometimes we forget to do when we get all caught up in the cooking is the tasting. I think that's delicious. Do you want to try it? Sure. It's a little spicy. How is it? It's perfect. So to make the, the sauce extra rich, 
We drizzle a little bit of whipped egg, but the idea is you don't stir it in so much as you just kind of let it almost like egg drop soup. All right, here we go. Crabs. And we put the little top on there, just like that. And then all that sauce. Okay, chef, I'm gonna go talk to your guests okay. while you finish this up. Got it. And I'll meet you in the dining room. Perfect, love it. Thank you. I've been coming to MoFo for like five years. The daily specials are always really interesting. Uh, the chicken wings are like the best in the city. Yeah, I love like, coconut curry rice. It's so good. The flavors really surprised me. Um, we got a, a veggie puff. Awesome, amazing. Today's my first time trying the lamb. It was uh, recommended by the uh, waiter. It's really good. This is the pulled lamb. This I love to eat this dish. This is beyond ridiculous. Oh, cheers. More high fives. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm glad you came. No, I'm glad you came in. It's a lot to me. I'm ready. Um, no. You got to do it. <laughs> so you gotta, you just gotta go in there and grab that first top of the crab right off. Now you gotta do it with your hands. You gotta do it with your hands. Okay. There you go. You're putting it on your plate. There we go. Thank you. All right. So if you want, you can take your chopstick and you just dig this crab meat out. See that? See that crab meat right there? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You can taste how fresh the Louisiana seafood is. Oh yeah. And then, we come back with these buns. We gotta tear these open like that. And we go in for the sauce. So these buns, mm -hmm. what are these made of? A little bit of sugar, flour, yeast, steam them, and then you fry them. So you're originally from New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Where did you go to high school? You know you're oh not my a God. real New Orleanian unless you ask where you went to high school. I, uh, I went to Brother Martin. Brother Martin? Yeah. And so did your brother also go to Brother Martin? Yes, and my other business partner. All three of us went to Brother Martin. Okay, so you yeah. have three business partners, and you all yep. started <clears throat> Right. I was running a fine dining restaurant. My brother was a general manager, uh, and my other business partner uh, was a captain in a fine dining restaurant. And so we decided one day that we wanted to get out and do our own thing. We had been working for other people for 15 years. So we thought, like, let's go to our neighborhood. Let's open a spot for cooks and servers and bartenders, and let's let's just make it fun, and let's just offer really well-made food, but you can come in any day of the week and enjoy it. You've done an incredible job in the food industry here. Thank you. Orleans, so I appreciate thank you. that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy I'm still around. <laughs> happy to have been accepted <laughs> no, you're by welcome. my hometown. Thank you so much, Michael. <laughs> you're very welcome. Thank you. I'd shake your hand, but it's covered in crap.